Thank you. Like, okay then, McDonald's. This is gonna be like the messiest video I think I've probably ever made because I'm just randomly doing this like out here all alone. I got a coffee as you just saw. I don't think I've ever had a McDonald's coffee. But I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can go chill, preferably by my hotel. Bitch, guess what I got? Even at the beach, you has to get a Celsius. I'm embarrassed right now. Very embarrassed. <laughs> Being here and just like doing something alone reminds me like that I am a person with my own free will. I don't need anybody else to do shit. I don't need a friend to do shit with me. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need a motherfucking goddamn thing besides myself in this body, baby. This life provides. Fucking editing right now. And I just like, ooh, I had to leave that in because I needed you to see how crazy I was too. Ah! I'm definitely gonna move here, definitely. Also, okay, something about beach locals, like I am a trashy queen at my core and I love a dirty, trashy beach man. They're giving sludge metal, they're giving cigarette smoker, they're giving, um, my parents are drug addicts but not me. That's what they're giving. And that's my kind of man, okay? We're about to go over a speed bump. So white balanced out right now. This is why I need to live at the beach so that I can fix this shit because I'm a pale ass bitch right now. Hey. I'm out here. I didn't bring a blanket or anything. I didn't bring anything with me and it's loud as a fuck. It's so fucking goddamn bright out here. Hey girl. We're in the Airbnb. Let me give you the full tour. Front door. It's hard to even capture it all because it's so tiny. Here's the bed, a little nice mirror, some art. How stunning. It's giving Florida. See what I mean where there's like nowhere to smoke? That's the balcony. No smoking, which unfortunately they don't know me and I will be smoking out there tonight. It'll just have to be later when it's dark and I'm in the cover of nighttime. I'm about to take these curling paper towels out if you want to do that with me. Definitely getting dark and stormy outside. Loki giving like Miley Cyrus, right? Starting to rain a little bit. 12 is everywhere. They're all right here in Santa Rosa. Wherever the fuck I am, I don't even know. Does it look bad? Certainly not the greatest that my hair has ever looked, but that's okay. I am watching Miss Fernanda and I'm about to go to sleep and I guess I'll see you in the morning. <coughs> Good morning. It's hotter than a bitch in here. It's 5.47 a.m. as well. Did I show you yet? Where is it coming from? I don't know. Look at this bullshit. Everything here is just a little bit broken. Try to get myself hyped to go for a run, but I don't know. I'm back. I went for a run. Oh my god. Ugh. Isn't this so much more fun than me just like sitting there painting and sped up? Like, you get to see what I'm doing in my life. Poor beach ready now, bitch. One thing about me is like, I'm a dirty ass bitch. And honestly, I feel like beach people are dirty ass bitches at the core. I love to feel a little bit of like, dirtiness in my hair and like a little bit of like um sweat on my body at all time just fucking love it look at my hair right now like this is perfect hair texture look at the fitty i'm wearing like this is it's giving florida girl and bitch if that ain't me what is bitch i'm about to go smoke weed at the beach <coughs> i'm back on the beach bitch i want to smoke a bowl but beach patrol is out driving on the beach so I can't. Girl, do you remember earlier when I was like 12 is everywhere, there's cops everywhere. I just had the scariest experience of my whole life, bitch. When I was walking back up from the beach, there was like 30 lifeguards doing this like test. 
And so all the like code enforcement that I was just talking about, all the code enforcement people were there along with all the lifeguards. And then there was a sheriff doing a news interview on that platform that I was sitting on last night that's above the boardwalk. A sheriff was doing a news interview there. All I saw was the sheriff talking to the woman who is part of the news crew and I was like, I knew it, they're here to get me. So I sat down and put my shoes on, but my fucking feet were wet and sandy. And I didn't want to put my wet, sandy feet. It's so hard to put wet shoes on, bro. I don't really think I would get in trouble at this point. I feel like I could probably talk myself out of anything at this age, but it's just like the hassle of it. I don't want other people to call the cops on me. You know what I mean? But it strikes paranoia in you, bro. Like if you've ever been arrested before, like bitch, like whenever you see someone, you always think they're coming for you because you never thought they were coming for you and then they came for you. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. Sometimes I get nervous and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't put things like this on the internet because like, oh, like I want to own a business. I want like people to respect me but then i'm also like well that's really me like should i hide it because i don't want to like hide those things and then they come out later and people will be like oh like she's actually like you know bad like i don't know anyways like a fucking dumbass like i had never been to the beach before i i fucking didn't roll my pants up or wear shorts at the beach and then obviously my pants got wet on the bottom and they got sand in them and it's the only pair of pants Feels so good to take a bathing suit off. Can I bust a Yui right here? Hang on. Oh, whoop whoop. Here he is. Isn't it like so interesting how like exploring the earth makes you explore yourself? Whoa. That girl genius. We're back on the road again. 